Africa's richest man, Aliko Dengote, has revealed the secret of his success in business. If you are not aware of the secrets, I recommend you go to the previous video, 10 Success Secrets of Aliko Dengote, to know the secrets of his business success. He made the disclosure at the Financial Times, the fourth annual Africa Summit at Claridge's in London, with the Vice President Yemi Osimbanjo on attendance. According to Dangote, we are not going to import anything any longer. In Nigeria, we are learning how to produce the entire value chain. He said, Nigeria, which was once a heavy importer of fertilizer, was now gearing up to produce 3 million tons locally. He noted that this will transform the nation into one of the largest fertilizer exporters in Africa. Today, we have not only satisfied domestic needs, we have become the leading exporter of 6 to 7 million tons of cement, he added. The business mogul stated that his company has invested in rice production by investing in local farmers and then offering to buy back the 1 million tons at open market prices. Soon, we will be able to feed not only Nigeria, but the entire 320 million large West African market. Are we going to continue to import everything? Freight rates are now cheap, but they will go up soon. A population of over 200 million cannot continue to import basic needs on a daily basis, he answered himself. In Africa, you have to play the long term, Dangote said. On African country, with the biggest growth opportunity, Dangote said, aside from Nigeria, I'd have to pick Nigeria. I am a big fan of Nigeria. We are only using 8% of our lands. Now, in this video, we will learn about the five things you did not know about the Dangote group. Who is the originator of this Dangote group? How did it come to be? The Dangote group is a Nigerian multinational industrial conglomerate founded by Aliko Dangote. It is the largest conglomerate in West Africa and one of the largest on the African continent. The group employs more than 30,000 people, generating revenue in excess of 4.1 billion US dollars in 2017. Number 1. The Dangote Group is a company that has continued to grow its focus of becoming the leading provider of essential needs in food and shelter in the sub-Saharan Africa. Their vision is to be a world-class enterprise that is passionate about the quality of life of the general populace and high returns to stakeholders. Number 2. The mission of the Dangote Group is to touch the lives of people by providing their basic needs. They have continued to sustain and improve on their market leadership in cement manufacturing, sugar milling, sugar refining, pot operations, packaging material production, and salt refining. Number 3. The group currently has a presence 
in 17 African countries and is a market leader in cement on the continent. One of the group's subsidiaries, Dangote Cement PLC, is the largest listed company in West Africa and the first Nigerian company to join the Forbes Global 2000 Companies list. Number 4. The Dangote Industries is a diversified and fully integrated conglomerate with annual group turnover in excess of 4 billion US dollars in 2016 with a vibrant operations in Nigeria and Africa across a wide range of sectors including cement, sugar, salt, condiments, packaging, energy, port operations, fertilizer and petrochemicals. Their core business is to provide local value added products and services that meet the basic needs of the populace through the construction and operation of large-scale manufacturing facilities in Nigeria and across Africa. They are focused on building local manufacturing capacity to generate employment, reduce capital flight and increase local value addition. Number 5. The last but not the least. The Dangote Group corporate strategy has evolved as its business have grown, matured and diversified into new sectors and regions over the last four decades. Starting out as a bulk commodity trading concern in the 1970s, encouraged by the liberalized commodity import regime of the then government of Nigeria. By the late 1990s, their strategy had transformed to a focus on manufacturing for import substitution. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share our videos to your friends and family. Thank you and one love.